you guys can hear me. This engine is pretty pretty loud. We're in uh, I'm in Mexico with my family here, and my dad and I are going um, deep sea fishing. We're on a boat. Obviously, we're gonna try to catch something. I don't know what we're gonna try to catch. They didn't really tell us what was in season, but we were just like, yo, I just want to catch some fish. I've done this once before when I was little, and I caught one little fish. Um, I told them this time I was like, bro, I want some action. I want to see hella fucking fish, and I want to catch fish and uh, maybe catch like a shark or something. That's what we're gonna do today. Um, figured I'd just vlog it because this is great. Not everyone can do this, so. Anyways, hope you guys can hear me. I'm gonna go back to the hotel and then we're gonna run up a little Q&A just to be chill. And then tomorrow I'm going back to Houston, to get back to work. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Uh, I don't really know what's about to happen, but it's just gonna be fun. It's also 8 a.m. and these guys gave me a beer. It was like breakfast of champions. I was like, all right, breakfast of champions, cheers. You guys see how like the water like weirdly turned green? which is weird because I thought when it gets deeper, it would turn more blue and dark, but the water's more green now. But I'm not a marine biologist, so I don't know what the I'm talking about. Guys, look at these, look at these guys. They're, they're, the, uh, they're the fishermen crew, and I was like, bro, I just wanna catch a bunch of fish, and they're like, all right. I'm honestly really excited. I haven't done this shit in a while. It'll be really fun to see what we catch, and also, depending on what we catch, we can bring it back, and then uh, some chef can like chop it up, and we can have good sushi. smallest beer I've ever seen. 46 calories, 4% alcohol. So pretty much, if this was an actual beer, it would be 8%, right? Because if this is half a beer, I don't know. I was just, we were just talking back when, like, in the first time, I think we were in Cabo. Eric put up the photo right here of of the Mahi Mahi in me. But I remember being miserable because it was so choppy. I didn't, I didn't throw up, but I just got really seasick and it was just hot, it was bad. Fortunately, this time it's not choppy at all. The weather is, is extremely nice, no waves. So my dad's thinking like, we're gonna catch some fish. So I'm excited. I guess that's Cozumel. It's like really good for diving. And we were thinking like, I should've, we should've came diving because then I could've got like my GoPro or my Insta360 and got some like insane underwater clips. But we can do that another time. I will say though that I miss my, I miss the homies, man. I miss LT, I miss Eric, I miss Harry. I don't really miss LT, that was Cap, but I would love to like be here on the trip and like f***ing around with them. But you know, spending a little family time. My mom uh, turning 60 years old, so it's good to like chill out a little bit. This has been really good, it's been really fun. Can't wait to sit down, talk to you guys about the Q&A. Got a lot on my mind, so. But first, I gotta, I gotta catch some fish. Huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Element. It is a electrolyte supplementation company. If you're like kind of slow and you're not already familiar with what electrolytes are, um, one of the things that you lose the most when you sweat is sodium. When we're training in the gym, we're getting big as you can, like you're losing your sodium when you're sweating. And so you need to replenish that. And that's an electrolyte, okay? Element is actually used by people in the NFL, the NHL, the Olympics, um, actually Navy SEALs, and also regular fucking gym bros like us, like you and I, okay? I, I haven't tried this flavor, watermelon salt, but because it is such high sodium, they do taste a little bit salty. So I'm expecting it to be like watermelon just smashed up with salt. Last night we went out drinking, this morning, Kind of felt like shit. And I smashed one of these. I have no idea if it was placebo or not, but it got rid of my headache and I actually felt pretty pretty relaxed and pretty uh, well rested. So I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try this watermelon salt one. 
So, smells like, it smells really good. The watermelon one smells good. I'm a huge watermelon fan. Also, they sent me this sick Yeti. So we put about 36 ounces of water in it. A little quick shake. Open her up. Never had this flavor, watermelon salt. It tastes like watermelon salt. Like there's no, it's watermelon salt, man. It doesn't taste like Gatorade, because you know how Gatorade, it's all like syrup and shit and artificial tasting. This tastes, this tastes like it's actually helping me. Quick fun fact, as an athlete, you could actually lose up to seven grams of sodium per day, which is terrible. And you can't replenish that with, with just water, you can't. So that's why Element made these 1,000 milligrams, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So honestly, what I'm thinking, what if I just did this with my pre-workout? We might have just like a just like an insane pump. So there you guys go. There's another use that you can use for it. Hangovers, hydration, and pumps. Element is offering a deal for you guys. If you guys go ahead and use my code SUSH on any any one of these, my favorite is the watermelon salt, the one I just had. If you try this, you get a sample package, and it's eight flavors, so you can try whichever one you want. The sample pack with your order is only available at drinkelement.com forward slash sush. That is D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash sush. Thank you, Element, for sponsoring this video. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I had a headache before I did this, and I drink three, I drank almost my whole drink, and my headache's gone, so. Element headache here? I don't know, could be placebo, but try it out for yourself. She dropped me, son. Uh, what do I do? Get in the chair. Get in the chair. I guess that was a sailfish. They don't see many of them. That dude, that shit was like heavy, bro. I have a pump. My arms have like a pump, my bicep. I can feel my bicep like contracting. So that's about like a five minute fight. That was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Like I wanna catch some, I wanna catch like a, that was probably like 40 pounds. Try to catch like a hundred pound gray white. Hundred pound gray white, that'd be sick. But yeah, that was intense, that was really sick. All right, so they're telling me like when the fish is running, like I put the rod forward and then I, I like reel it in and then I like bring it back, I guess. Like you ever seen river monsters, bro? Like that motherfucker who like fishes? Like that's what I have to do. Cause I've never like fished like this. Like these, this, that was 50 pounds. Also the, the guy is super hype right now. He's super hype. Cause supposedly uh, a sailfish, if you catch a sailfish on the first, is if that's your first fish, you're gonna have like a really good day. Like it's really good luck. We'll see. All right, I think they got a fish. It's been about like 20 minutes since we got the other one. Is that a shark? Gray white shark? Hold my friend. <laughs> it was, it was weight. It was a weight. We got baited. All right, actual fish. Literally just sat, sat back down and we got another one. It's my dinner.
yet, so we're not fishing for uh, like game for like big game fish anymore because it was kind of slow, like the sail the sailfish and then the barracuda. And then now we're just going to get some like shit to eat, like some mahi mahi or whatever we can catch. Some pretty looking, pretty tasty looking fishes. Use the small hook, okay? Okay. Pull it slowly when you get that call. It's a mahi mahi man, or gray white, baby gray white. <laughs> Second, that's two, number two, number two of the three, another barracuda. What's going on guys? Back in the room, nice and showered up. I'm fucking tired, I was up 6 a.m. I think it was. But the thing is, is like, I've been falling asleep so early because my parents, they don't, they go to sleep at like a parent hour or whatever you would consider a parent, like a normal person hour. So we get in the room at like nine o'clock and like I'm passed out because the sun and just being outside and being active, I'm so tired. So I just go fall right asleep. But this color, this color is looking good on me though. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to get back in the tanning beds. You guys probably already know what this Q&A is about. Recently, some news broke out to where I'm moving. It wasn't the way that I wanted it to, to tell you guys, and I think that's why it caught me so off guard and caught you guys so off guard is because we didn't really get it. We didn't really get a chance to explain it um, at, like we wanted to. Just like a kind of misunderstanding. James had already thought that I had announced that I was like moving, moving. So he had like accidentally said it on his Snapchat story. It was just fucking all, all, all f up. So I just doing this to clear it, clear the air. That way I can answer any question that you guys have. So I went on Snapchat and I said, yo, ask some questions um, about this whole situation. So hopefully we can answer them together. Hopefully I can answer a question and maybe you guys were thinking that too. Also, I'm not really gonna answer any of the questions like, yo, what, it was, what is so-and-so gonna do? Because that's not my place to say, unless I have already asked them if I had the permission to to tell them what their plans are, then, then I will. But it's not really my place to say, to say what is somebody doing, you know? Also, so let me just explain the whole situation, you guys don't already know, I got approved for an apartment in Los Angeles. Kermer is giving me a boulevard office, like my own office in the Young LA space. So the building that Young LA is in the warehouse, he's giving me my own office there. And that will be like the boulevard headquarters, at least for now, until hopefully we outgrow it. 
But yeah, all the distribution is going to be out of there. So like with international orders, with Boulevard, everything is going to be the same as Young LA. They use DHL. So whatever, uh, whatever countries DHL ships to, same countries that these will be able to go to. So yeah, he gave me, uh, he gave me that office space and I was like, honestly, I should really invest into an apartment. I think it will be worth it. Also, I do recommend you guys go watch the Legacy Loading podcast. Uh, that was posted a few days ago. Go watch that if you haven't because pr that whole podcast is talking about, it's 50 minutes of me just talking about what I'm doing. So, but this is gonna be like the short version. Until about January, I won't be fully moved out of my house in Houston. January is when our lease is done. We're all gonna have to find new places. Fortunately, I'll, I'll already have a place so I don't have to I don't have to look for a new one. I might get up another place in Houston, but right now I'm leaning more towards no because I kind of just want to ride out LA. I only have the apartment for one year. So if I don't like it, like I can leave. But little rundown, pretty much Harry's going to be traveling with me all the way up until January. So he's going to be staying in the apartment and then like coming back and forth with me to Houston just because I honestly need a helping hand. Uh, he already does like management for me and gets me brand deals, which we already had brand deal in here. So shout out to Harry for that. But he already does that for me. So I offered him a job. So pretty much he's going to help me out with Boulevard, the office. He already does have a position at Boulevard as well as Madrid and, and Joe. Kind of makes sense for him to just come with me. He's going to literally build the office with me because right now there's nothing in the office. So that's going to be like a whole series for you guys. And then he's also going to help me vlog. So he's going to help me film. All in all, I think it's a really good plan. I'm really excited. When I start talking about it, I just think more and more of how, how excited I am for the next couple of months. I just want to like fast forward. And we're also going to do the road trip. So we're going to pack a big ass truck, not a U-Haul because I don't trust those things. And you also can't really go that fast, but I want to get like a really nice truck, something to load it up. And then that way we can just drive there. I'll ship my vehicles over. Yeah, he won't have to worry about a car because I'll have two there, obviously, that he can drive around. And then when January comes around, that will be the end of the Houston lease. So Madrid will come and move over. So up until then, he'll just be like crashing on the couch or we'll get an air mattress or something if he ever wants to visit LA, especially for work purposes, because once Boulevard's up and running, um, I'm going to need him to be present in LA like a maybe a few times. So he'll be staying at the apartment up until January, he'll move in. And then hopefully we'll be on our feet enough where Harry can get his own place. And uh, maybe even Joe can, can come to LA too. So that's the plan right now, but we're obviously playing it by ear. A lot can happen in a few months. Do you see yourself still making fitness content in two years? I. I will always work out just because I do like hitting arms and chest. Like I like no matter what, I'll always be a bro and like fucking just do arms and chest. But fitness content wise, I oh yeah, I think so. I think I'll always have like a little bit of fitness just engraved into my content, whether it be like a little gym session or like eating something healthy. Cause fitness is so such a blanket term where I could be like, oh, like this is a healthy meal because I'm I'm from fitness, you know? So am I gonna wake up, show my meal, go work out, go home and, and do the same shit? No. I'm already trying to kind of get away from that. If that's what you consider fitness content, then your answer is no. But in two years, I definitely think I'll still have some type of, I'll be related to fitness somehow, for sure. Update, update us on Boulevard, how's it going? So um, the shipment for the first drop, there's five sunglasses coming for the first drop. In the future, we're planning on having like 20 plus styles, but these first five were the first five that were ever sampled. Those were the first ones that we wanted those, boom. These are gonna be our first five pairs. Those will be in LA this month. So hopefully when I'm there, I'll be able to go look at them, make sure everything's good. Cause this is our first bulk order. If you guys know anything about like merchandise and shit, a lot can happen with a bulk order. Like some of the items might just be f Like there have been items with Young LA where people, um, where they've had to just scratch them because the samples were correct. But then when they ordered the bulk, it was all f***ed up like it was different so they had to like literally scratch them and lose the money so just want to make sure that those are those are good that will be in the middle of september that way we can get probably two to three weeks worth of content like just fucking boom boom instagram posts story posts everything and then first drop will be then behind the scenes like there's a lot going on just right now there it doesn't look like it just because the instagram is empty is madrid still gonna edit the vids yes but depending on how busy we'll end up being i might have to hire a different editor just because uh, if he's, you know, backed up on Boulevard shit or if he's got to do a bunch of stuff, I'll kind of just let him be like, hey, if you want to delegate this to someone else, I totally can do that for him. But right now the plan is, yeah. When do you move? So um, today is the 5th. I will be leaving the 12th so or the 11th. So the 11th, I'm going with Joe. Harry's going to be in Germany or he's going to be somewhere and then he's going to be in Germany. So he can't go with me this first time. But Joe wanted to come because he wants to go see the warehouse, meet everybody at the warehouse. Hopefully furniture will be there by then. And probably going to stay there for three or four days, come back, do some work on the house in Houston because we do have to kind of fix it up a little bit before we put it back to dead stock, you know. Going to see more club party content after the move? No. 
surprised. I mean, honestly, I don't really like LA uh, nightlife. Actually, recently, like we've barely even gone out like the past month, I would say. Here in Houston, we've kind of just been kind of burnt out from it because we did, we went hard for like three or four months and like we went through that stage and we're kind of past that. And I think I got it out of my system. I still enjoy like the, ca I casually drink. I know this weekend when, when Gary's in town in, in Houston, um, we're definitely going to go out just because, you know, it's a, he's never been to Houston. Uh, so he's going to meet Christian Guzman. So it's going to be, it's really exciting. So we're definitely going to do something then. But honestly, in LA, probably not. Where do you see yourself in five years? I have no idea, dude. Because three months ago, you could ask me, where do you see yourself in three months? And I would be like, oh, in Houston, like doing the same shit. And now, and now look what's happening. I have no idea where I'll be in, in five years. That's crazy. Hopefully Los Celts, like Los Celts and Boulevard, just pfft. Who knows, man? Are videos still going to stay frequent and how frequent are you aiming for? Uh, I wanna aim for two a week. I think we've been pretty steadily on two a week. It's sometimes it's like four days in between video and then I'll do like three days, but definitely wanna stay around for uh, two a week. What gym will you go to in LA? I have no idea. Um, I know that I went to Gold's, the new Gold's in that outlet mall. And that was really cool, but it was really packed. And I was talking to Lex a little bit. He trains at Zoo, he trains at uh, Gold's Venice, but I'm not sure just yet. I know my apartment complex does have a nice gym. So honestly, if I'm not planning on doing like a crazy video, I'll probably just train there. So I don't know for sure, but also we're building that gym, like I said, so that will be uh, coming soon. Your content has gotten so boring. Do you think your content in LA will get any better? Are you worried about falling off? I could see why you think my content is getting bored, boring because it's not like the PRs and the screaming and all of that, but I've just outgrown that. And it's okay if you haven't, I don't blame you. So if you don't connect with my content as much, I totally get that. And I, I mean, I don't think it's gonna get any better. If that's what you consider, if that's what you consider good, I don't think it's gonna get any better in LA. Are you worried about falling off? No. Actually, I might be a little bit worried about falling off. I think that's like a subconscious thought that everybody has as an influencer, but right, I don't think it would be coming anytime soon. After you get the bag, where do you plan on settling down if you do plan on settling down? Well, I don't plan on settling down like that or like retiring for, for a long, long time because I kind of do, this is just like the very beginning of my business arc, right? Or of my grind arc. I have no idea when or where do I plan on settling down. Who knows, I might fall in love with California. Uh, I do love San Diego. My dad loves San Diego. So that would be really sick or even Mexico. I think these resort, like these properties on the beach are like only a million dollars, which I know I said only a million dollars, but for like beach, that's crazy. But then you gotta deal with like Mexican shit. So <laughs> is Milo going with you? Yeah, of course, Milo, that's my puppy, bro. So he's definitely coming with. We got, um, we've got like this nice balcony. Um, I can't wait to show you guys in, in probably two videos. I'll show you guys what, what the f we got going on over there. But we got this balcony. He's already pee pad trained. Um, I can take him outside, outside but I think I'm gonna put like a little pee pad on the balcony and a bed because it's 60, it's like super nice, no humidity. So he can just sit outside all day. And like, I don't mind leaving the door open because it's so nice. I think he's gonna really enjoy it. How excited do you feel about this move? Do you feel like it's opening a new chapter in your life and what that you're excited to start working on? 100%. 10 out of 10 excited for the move. 100% agree that it's a new it's a new chapter. That's kind of how we describe it. It's like new, new chapters, new beginnings, each arc, right? Like the arcs are real. We've had so many different arcs in, in this channel and this is the start of a new one. Now these are fucking heat. Yo, Ultra Leak, do let it focus for just a second. I've been telling him he got to do some no cuff. Like, you know how joggers, they, they cuff at the bottom and they or they got the drawstring? I've been telling him no cuffs. So they like sit over your boot or they sit over your shoe. Best advice I could give somebody. Um, hey, okay, this is corny as fuck, but Alpha Land slogan is proud but never satisfied. Not until recently have I realized like what that actually means and what, and how applicable that is to your life. Not just lifting and like your gains and shit, but it could definitely be that, but also just everything. Like I think for me, I got, I got satisfied, I got complacent. And once I realized, holy shit, there's so much more for me to do and there's so much more that I can do. That's when I realized like, okay, I'm proud that I've done what I have, but I'm not satisfied and I wanna do, I wanna do more. So proud but never satisfied. I know it's really corny, but yeah. Will you guys ever run back Mallcast? Uh, I think so. Obviously, we're gonna do more episodes before I like move out, move out. But I'll be leaving. I won't be on Mallcast anymore. I do believe he's still gonna continue the channel. When I go to Houston, I'm sure we'll probably run one, and I'll be like a guest pot. I'll be like a guest host, and those episodes will be really cool. Sunglasses for for me need to be tried on before buying. Are you the same way? Yes. 100%. I think if you know what kind of frame, because everything, the, the reason why sunglasses look good on people is because of how thin or wide their face is. So there are certain frames 
where this sweater only look good on someone with a similar face shape like to me. But I can't, if you have a wide face, you're gonna want bigger frames because then it makes your face look less wide, if that makes sense, like less round. If you have a really thin face, you can get away with smaller frame glasses, um, like really small ones. And this is kind of like in the middle. I do really like these because these are, they're in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Like you can have a wide face or you can have a thin face and they're gonna look good. And I think we're gonna try to get some software where you can put your face onto your phone and then it's like a 3D, um, almost like a Snapchat filter. So obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but you can get a good, good idea of it. How often will you see James after moving out? Uh, we talked about it probably more than like 10 times a year because he's gonna come to LA. He already does travel to LA pretty, pretty often, I would say every couple of months. And then if I travel to Houston every couple of months, you combine that, Black Friday shoots, different, different photo shoots, maybe even like vacations or some shit or like expos. So I would say uh, more than 10 times. How's my mental health been? Um, mental health has been really good. It was doing fantastic, but then when I came here, some stuff happened where I kind of just like, I should be more focused on like having a good time and relaxing here, but I ended up being more worried about social media and shit, which happens and I know it's 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 fucking rough and it's my, my own fault, but we're back on track. I'm, I'm really excited, just ready to go home. What am I most afraid? Okay, this is gonna be last question. My battery's about to die. Um, what are you most afraid of moving? Or what are you most afraid about moving to LA? I would say just like failure. <laughs> I know that sounds, that's really broad, but I would say just just failure. But I also think that that's good. Like to be afraid of failing is is not a bad thing. Like that that should light a fire and that should be a good like driving force in, in me being there. So yeah, just I'm afraid of failure. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. This was a this was a really fun video. Um, this morning was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It wasn't too boring because I know fishing can be a little bit boring. But I'm excited to go home. Um, next video, Germ should be in it, so that'll be really fun. Um, Modcast with Germ too will be next. Also, if you guys haven't watched, watch Legacy Loading Podcast because kind of explained everything all in in that. So thank Madrid for editing this video. Um, shout out to Element for also sponsoring this video, and we will see you guys in the next one. I'm going home tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Peace.